to say, Mona Lisa del Giocondo, I am quite overwhelmed by your visiting my humble practice. <laughs> One shouldn't talk about oneself, it's highly unprofessional. But I hope you'll forgive me for saying that in many respects, you're the reason I'm here. <laughs> you see, my father, Papa, was a professor of psychotherapy at a highly thought of academic institute. He was a, a really big don. Big bad Don, we used to call him. <laughs> Although he wasn't bad, not in the slightest, and he certainly wasn't big, five foot one to be precise. But he had a big brain and a big heart, and he was a big Don, and I worshipped him. One day, I must have been um, seven or eight, that inquisitive age, I tippy-toed into his study and finally asked, Papa, why do you call me Piccola Mona? That was his pet name for me, you see. Why Piccola Mona, Papa? He picked me up and sat me on his desk so that I was eye height, and he produced a postcard of your image from a drawer. Ah, my darling girl, my darling Piccola Mona. It is because you are like she, full of wonder and mystery and unanswered questions. To understand what the Mona Lisa might have been thinking has baffled and boggled the minds of many great men for very many years. She is an enigma. And so, my petite puppet, are you. But, Papa, why would you want to know what she's thinking? He threw his head back and laughed that glorious laugh of his, and, and then he coughed quite a bit. And finally he said, Because it is my job. My beautiful inquirer, it is my job. Well, that was it. I was hooked. I, too, became fascinated by your mysterious visage. I devoured everything about you that I could feast my eyes upon. By this time, of course, I'd decided to follow in Papa's footsteps and study the emotional mind, but yours was the mind I was really desperate to unlock. I'm overwhelmed that it is I to whom you have chosen to open up. There is so much that I and the world want to know. Although, of course, there is a confidentiality clause, so it will just stay between ourselves for the moment. But if I may be so bold, can I just cut to the chase? What is ticking away behind that smile of yours? You're not really Leonardo himself. No? His mistress, maybe? Come on, girl. What are you hiding? Hey. Eh? <laughs>